The CTD rosette is used by every scientist on this ship, and is one of the most important pieces of equipment we use. Today we are sending it to the bottom of the ocean. The rosette is the circular frame, and it holds 24 10-liter Niskin bottles for collecting samples. The CTD and other sensors are mounted at the base, and measure properties of the water including temperature, salinity, and oxygen concentration. Sending the rosette 5,000 meters down can take many hours, so it is important that it is carefully prepared before it is deployed. We cock open the Niskin bottles at both the top and the bottom. Once they are ready, we move the rosette out on deck. A crew member uses a winch to help us lift the rosette over the side of the ship. While the rosette descends to the seafloor, we watch a computer displaying water properties measured by the CTD. There are layers of water below us that have traveled from far away places like Greenland and Antarctica. At our location in the South Atlantic, there are many different types of water below us. First, the rosette travels through northward flowing Antarctic intermediate water. Then, the rosette drops through southward flowing North Atlantic deep water. And finally, northward flowing Antarctic bottom water. This plot is called a profile and shows how the different layers of water look to the oxygen sensor on the CTD. The blue line represents the concentration of oxygen measured on the horizontal axis. We measure these concentrations at every depth measured on the vertical axis from the surface, 0 meters, to the bottom, 5,000 meters. The North Atlantic deep water near 2,500 meters has higher oxygen compared to the water above and below it. As we sail north, closer to its source, we see the North Atlantic deep water fill more and more of the profile, while the influence of Antarctic water above and below it fades away. On the computer, we signal individual Niskin bottles to close at different depths to collect each of these types of water. Now that the rosette is back on board the ship, it is time for us all to collect our water samples from the Niskin bottle. Each bottle contains very different water, and it is important to keep all the scientists organized so they collect the right samples. Harriet is our water boss on this cast, and directs each scientist to the correct Niskin bottle for the depth they want to sample. Although this looks chaotic, Harriet keeps everything very well organized. At each bottle, scientists collect water for different analyses and experiments. Some are measuring dissolved gases and other inorganic chemicals, while others are collecting organisms and the organic carbon they produce and consume. Finally, sampling is finished, at least until tomorrow.